This is examples part two for section 3.9. So it says use the information to evaluate and compare delta y with the differential y. And the equation they want us to use is sine of 3x. The x value they want us to use is x equal to zero. And the delta x or the differential x, they're saying they're equivalent here, they want us to use 0 0.01. So you have to remember the formulas for each one. For delta y, the formula is one y value minus the other y value. So the bigger y value or the second y value minus the first y value. Well, in this case, c is equal to zero here, okay? So what we're gonna have is zero plus delta x, and delta x is 0 0.01 minus f of zero, which means f of 0 0.01 minus f of zero. That means sine of three times 0 0.01 minus sine of zero. Oops, three times zero, my apologies, which does end up being just zero. So the sine of 0.03 is 0 0.299955002 minus the sine of zero, which is zero. So we get this value here for delta y. Now for dy, we have to use a different formula. That is f prime of c dx. So in our case, that would be f prime of zero and dx is 0 0.01. Well, I don't know what the derivative is, so I need to figure that out first. So y prime is actually cosine of 3x times the chain rule times 3, or 3 cosine of 3x. So I'm plugging 0 into the derivative, which means 3 cosine of 3 times 0 times 0 0.01. <coughs> Excuse me. Or 3 times cosine of 0 times 0 0.01. The cosine of zero is one. And if I multiply all of those together, I get 0 0.03. And if you notice, these are very close to each other. They are only off by a little tiny bit. So let's see, 0 0.03 minus that answer. They're off <laughs> by a point zero 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 zero. 0, 4, right? So they're very, 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 very close to each other there. Now the third example here is asking for the differential dy given a function. So they're not giving me x and they're not giving me dx, okay? But I still have to find the differential dy. I just don't know what c is, so I'm going to leave it as a general x. But if I want to find dy, it's going to be the derivative of this. Now let me write that as a power. You always have to write your radicals as a power. And so the derivative of that would be 1 half x squared plus 1 to the negative 1 half times the chain rule, which is 2x plus 0. And I still have this dx multiplied by it. Then this 2 and this 2 will cancel because the 0 is not even really there. And I get x over the square root of x squared plus 1 times dx. Negative means it's downstairs and a 1 half means it's a square root, right? So this is what we end up with here for our answer.